New York Governor Kathy Hochul expected to sign a landmark bill into law today banning what she calls addictive social media feeds for kids under 18. Only on CBS News, Jolene Kent sat down with the governor to discuss what's driving this groundbreaking legislation. Taking action. For mom Bernice Tsai, the battle over social media addiction with her 16-year-old daughter has been a struggle. It makes me mad because I see how social media is kind of using her. I know it's not healthy for her. She's one of many parents who've spoken up in support of the Safe for Kids Act in New York. Democratic Governor Kathy Hochul says the law will make it illegal for social media companies to use, quote, addictive feeds for users under 18. They are being held captive to powerful forces outside their own control, algorithms that are intentionally addictive, intended to pull them in and keep their attention. That means in New York State, no suggested posts will be allowed in kids' feeds. No notifications from 12 midnight to 6 a.m. without parental consent. And new age verification tools to be set by the state attorney general. If the social media platforms do not comply, the attorney general can fine them up to $5,000 per violation and beyond. How confident are you that New York State can keep up with the technological innovations of the most powerful, innovative companies in the world and actually enforce this law? Our attorney general helped propose this with me. The first start is to just change the law, put the companies on notice. NetChoice, which represents Meta and Google, among other major tech companies, says the New York law will violate the First Amendment and censor free speech online. The attorney general will be responsible for enforcement and they can enforce at will. That's a decision that should be left up to parents not government and not Silicon Valley. Today's signing comes just days after the Surgeon General proposed that Congress create a tobacco-style warning label on social media. Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, said while it does not agree with every aspect of these bills, it does support legislation requiring app stores to obtain parental approval to download apps. TikTok declined to comment. Jolene Kent, CBS News, New York. The New York law is set to go into effect 180 days after the state attorney general determines the exact rules and guidelines. Los Angeles Unified School District Board recently voted to ban students from using cell phones during school hours.